hi fashion lovers you're welcome to another interesting video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this stylish sleeve just like what you are seeing on the screen it is so easy to make whether you are a beginner or not it is so easy and simple to make so if it is something you want to learn you need to keep watching this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you find it very interesting like and share subscribe if you have not yet subscribed thank you guys let's get started To get started, I'm going to be making use of this pieces, um, this pieces of fabric that I have here. So I've folded it into two because I want to be, I want to cut out the two sleeves, or uh, I want to cut the two sleeves once. So I'll fold it into two, and then I'll go ahead and fold it again. So if you have a bigger fabric, it will be better. The flay of your sleeve will, you know, will be big, bigger than what I made. So depending, so I'm going to be managing this fabric. So then the first thing I'm going to do is to mark out my calf's height from my shoulder to my calf's height. So my calf's height is 5 inches, but I marked 5.5. The half inch is because of my sewing allowance. So I'll go ahead and mark shoulder to the elbow and then shoulder to the length. So the length of the sleeve is 23 by marked um 25 inches so this is my calf height this is my elbow and then the length of the sleeve so on my calf height, i'm gonna mark half of my bicep line so this is how to get your bicep measurement so half of my bicep measurement which is 14 divided by 2 gonna give me 7 inches and that is what i marked on the cap side so from there you want to make a slanted line to meet the top or the tip of your sleeve head just like what you see me do so you mark a slanty line from the bicep line to the head or to the sleeve head so I'll go ahead and use a pin to pin this so that the fabric will not be kind of shaking because this is a silk fabric so it's not stable so I'll just use a pin to hold it so that it will be a bit stable. So the next thing you want to do is to get the midpoint. Did you see you want to get the midpoint of this slanty line that you made? You want to get the midpoint and mark. So I'm, I want to show you how to make a simple sleeve that anybody can make so after getting the midpoint you want to divide half of the midpoint to get another midpoint and then also divide the half of the other side by two to get the midpoint so you are basically dividing by four so from the first line you go up by 0 0.75 inch that is three quarter from the second line go up by 0 0.25 which is one quarter and then from the third line come down by half an inch which is 0 0.5 inches so 0 0.75 on the first line 0 0.25 on the second line and come down by 0 0.5 inch on the third line so you want to go ahead and connect from the tip meet the 0 0.75 and the 0 0.25 and then you flip your curve ruler like this did you see what i'm doing so let me just use my hand and connect from the zero um one um three quarter to meet to the one quarter from the one quarter you come down to meet the half um half inch did you see and that is how you make your sleeve so if you don't want to use this method you can go ahead and you know cut your sleeve the way you do but this is just like a simple method of making a sleeve. There are different ways to make a sleeve, but this is the simplest method. So on the elbow line, you mark half of your elbow measurement, round elbow measurement, then add one inch for the sewing allowance. On the sleeve, the end, the wrist, you mark half of your wrist measurement, and I added extra five inches. The reason I added extra five inches is because the sleeve is flare. I would have added up to seven to eight inches or even ten if i have more fabric but because i don't have so that is the reason why i added only five so on the bicep line you mark one inch all this one inch you mark on the bicep and the elbow line is your sewing allowance 
So this is what we have so far. So for the down part, if you have more fabric, instead of adding extra five inches to your actual measurement, you can add seven, you can add 10 inches. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So after I'm done cutting, this is what I have. So from the elbow line, you go up by two inches. That is where your slit is going to be. The sleeve has a slit at the front. So from the elbow, go up by two inches and then open up the slit to you meet that two inches above the elbow. Did you see? So that is how I cut out the sleeve. So you want to go ahead, remove the pins. So I have two sleeve cut out already. Did you see? So if I open the sleeve, this is what I'm going to have. Did you see? So if you have more fabric, you can, you know, make your sleeve to have more flare than this. So for this slit, you can either use it, you can either cut the lining to close it up. You can use a facing if possible, or you can use a bias a thread to finish it up. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using a lining to i'm gonna cut a line in the exact way i cut out the sleeve i'll go ahead and cut this exact um fabric for lining so i'm gonna be using lining to close up the slit if you don't want to use lining you can use a bias tape you know you can cut out a fabric and use it so for me i'm gonna be using um, a lining so i've gone ahead to cut out the lining so the exact way i cut out the sleeve is still the exact way i cut out my lining so i'm going to place the lining right side of the lining will face the right side of the fabric did you see right side of the lining will face the right side of the sleeve and then you want to like go ahead and mark like 0 0.25 inch that is one quarter did you see so that is how i'm gonna sew it did you see the way i marked it so i'm gonna go ahead and sew it the way i marked it did you see one quarter on the sleeve so when i'm done sewing this is what i have let me just bring it close so when i'm done sewing this is what i have so I'm also going to sew the damp part to clean or to close up the sleeve. The sewing allowance I added on or the hemming allowance I added on the damp part is 2 inches. But I'll go ahead and use just 0 0.25 because I want the sleeve to be long, like very, very long. So I'm going ahead to sew the damp parts of the of the sleeve now by 0 0.25. So I'll go ahead and notch all around. You can see me notching. Did you see? So I the down part I sewed by half um 0 0.25 inch. That is one quarter. And then the the slit side I also sew by 0 0.25, which is one quarter. So you just want to go ahead and notch because you want to go and you want to turn it to the right side so you have to notch like notch very well very close to the especially the v part of the the, the sewing you need to notch very close so that by the time you are turning it like the it will lay down flat so after i'm done notching and i turn to the right side so this is what i have i'll have to go ahead and iron this so you can decide to add a hemming gun to it you know to hold it down but i'm not adding a hemming gum i'll just go ahead and sew it and you know so um jo i'll just go ahead and iron it sorry i'll go ahead and iron it very well so after i was done ironing this is what i have did you see so this is what i have after i was done ironing did you see that so the next thing is to cut my sleeve my sleeve for the 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 net now so the net i've gone ahead to cut out sleeve for the net because this is going to have a net so i've cut out the sleeve sleeve and the sleeve is just a normal sleeve a long sleeve normal sleeve but does not have the flare just the normal way we cut our sleeve it does not have the flare so i'm going to place it in such a way that the right side will face the lining the right side of the net will face the lining of this you know of this uh sleeve so i want to go ahead and so join the sleeve on the sleeve head now by 0 0.25 that is one quarter so that it will be easier for me to sew so i've joined it on the head did you see i've joined them on the head so i'm gonna you know 
open up the sleeve like this separate the that's on the wrong side now i'm going to open the sleeve like this did you see separate the 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 net and the, the other one the main uh, sleeve so you want to like separate it like this then go ahead on the wrong side and sew the sleeve by the one inch you have added so you want to go ahead and sew by the half inch you have added go ahead sew by the half inch you have added that's the main sleeve that has the flare so when you are done this is what you are going to have did you see i've sewn the sleeve the part that has the flare then this net is the exact way my sleeve is supposed to be so i'm just going to push this aside and then go ahead and sew the net by the sewing allowance i've added did you see you want to go ahead and sew the net by the sewing allowance you have added so when you are done this is what you are going to have did you see when you are done this is what you are going to have they want to like turn the sleeve to the right side so this is what i have after i was done so you can now go ahead and attach your sleeve head to your main fabric so this is what i have after i was done so at this point i've attached the sleeve to the sleeve head and this is the final result isn't this beautiful you can try this sleeve you don't need to you don't need to have a boring sleeve you can try this sleeve out and let me know your thoughts on the comment section thank you for watching to this very very point don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like share and subscribe see you in my next tutorial bye bye